this is a short video to show you how to use the my media site option uh, in combination with an iPad so say for instance you've been to a great conference like Unleashed 2014 and you created a short video using your iPhone or your iPad and you want to upload that video to your company's media site server um, and you didn't bring your laptop well that's not a problem you can use your iPad to directly upload that video using my media site and then share that with your colleagues or students or whoever was at the conference um, just a quick additional how-to I'm using um, a demo of the Air Server app to uh, use AirPlay on my iPad to stream uh, the desktop image or the, the screen image of the iPad to my Windows PC and then I'm using Camtasia Studio to capture that. Now I could have used the desktop recorder by Sonic Foundry to do that as well but in this case um, I prefer using uh, Camtasia Studio but you, you could even do it with that. So let's go uh, to the upload. Now say you created a short video it's on your iPad you then go to the my media site URL um, you can see the URL that my university uses that's going to be different for yours so if you go to this URL you probably get a login screen that you can't log on to but um, just ask your system administrator for your my media site URL go to that log in if needed and then by default on the on the iPad you will see this create presentation uh, screen so that's anything anything and everything that you will see if you go to my media site using your iPad or iPhone. Now in my case you can see a list of already created presentations but you also see the big create presentation button and if you click on that you got the option to add a title so demo upload uh, from iPad um, a description just a quick demo and some text so let's say unleash 2014 and maybe demo and iPad okay then you need to select content so if I click to select content well this is in Dutch and says record a video or choose an existing one I'm gonna choose an existing one because I already created that video then uh, it might ask you access to your video and picture library you need to grant that once you've done that uh, you can just access your videos now this is an actual video that I created during one of the sessions at Unleash so let's select that one and say use you're gonna learn Dutch as well in this video and it's gonna be compressed that's gonna take a while and after that it's going to upload the video to the server now I'm doing this back home using good Wi-Fi and broadband connection I tried it at the conference itself and it wouldn't upload because I mean Wi-Fi at conferences usually usually isn't the fastest one and in particular if there are a lot of people using their iPads and laptops and MacBooks to connect to that so that's something Sonic Foundry can't help you with you need a, a proper Wi-Fi connection so that, that could still be a problem during the conference itself but it's just showing you that if you get a Wi-Fi connection that uh, works properly you can simply upload it and now you can see that the demo upload from iPad is available Now the problem here is that like I said by default you can't do anything else on the iPad uh, except uploads and create new presentations but that's a nice thing when you're using Google Chrome on your iPad or your iPhone like I'm doing now let's open a different tab with the same window it's the same looks the same but I can now select um, request desktop site it will be in English in your case probably but Google Chrome on the iPad is capable of just displaying the regular my media site um, you could even try to download the desktop recorder but that won't work on um, on, on your iPad now if I go to the private folder that's the default folder that it uploads your uh, presentation in now you can see I tried the 
upload before that's the one you see below this one testing one two three um, and that is the one I uploaded just now as part of the demo you can see it's still um, converting it to something that it can actually display so if I click on that I, I get the regular edit option like I would get on a laptop which also means that you can say change the title uh, description you can move it to a different folder um, you can change the player the default player on this my media site was video and slides which wouldn't make much sense because this was only a video um, one of the things is it doesn't show you a drop down you, you need to start entering the name of a player at the moment that might change of course I'm gonna select that one because I know it's video only now you see that it doesn't always oh, oh hang on I gotta stay on the on the screen so let's save it and close now you see this screen wasn't intended to be used on an iPad but I mean it works most of the time um, so let's move it a bit there it is again um, you can also set security uh, at the moment it's uh, just available for me but I could say well I'm gonna change the permissions and I'm gonna add everyone uh, let's see everyone and that would allow anyone to view it add okay is it there nope I want to click add yeah, now everyone is selected. I'm gonna oops, save it again. And so now I could just simply. Oh no, hang on, I gotta do one thing more. Because, let me see, in edit. Yeah, it's still offline. So I gotta put it to viewable mode. Click save again. And now it's actually viewable. Uh, so I could play it and I can share it so if I take this link select it copy and paste it I could even send it from my iPad to my colleagues and they would be able to uh, to view it so as you can see it still takes some extra steps um, some things you well might want to be able to do from the regular um, browser or um, tablet based uh, view still at the moment if I click that I can still only change title description and uh, the tags so you still need to go to the, to the regular uh, view to be able to change the player change the settings uh, change the folder and get the share link but if you're using Google Chrome on your iPad or your iPhone you are able to upload a video from your iPad or iPhone um, change the settings make it viewable and send the link by mail to your colleagues so if the Wi-Fi is okay while you uh, at a conference or an event you can use my media site uh, in combination with media site by Sonic Foundry to share the clips that you create that's all for now let me know if you ever used it and I'm gonna send this to Sonic Foundry as well so they get some uh, feature requests Maybe it's already uh, improved in the version 7 uh, as far as the mobile uh, app goes. This one is still on 6.1.1.5. Um, but I think it's a, it's a neat feature that you can use it on your mobile device as well. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.